환영합니다, 손님. How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to another video of Library of Ruina, the modded series. I'm Don Monic Wolf, and today we're going to be taking on the Distorted Rudolph mod. Now, before we get started, I do want to say my absence has been long. Not as much as I expected, but I will talk about that in another video. But with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. Rudolph, why were you hesitating back there? The fighting isn't over yet. Look alive and keep fighting. Oh, that's fine. It's just I've already exhausted most of my mental energy. I can still keep going. I'm aware that the reindeers use up considerable amounts of mental energy in combat, but Mio and Maximum, along with my other subordinates, are now gone. I understand that the weight of this mission has taken a serious toll on you, but there's no helping it now. We won't have any more chances at this, so just forget about your surroundings and try to hold on for a little longer. Yes, understood. Try to recall everything you've gathered so far from the battle and do your best. Now follow my lead. Uh oh. Captain! In the end, every last one of us got wiped out. Everyone but me. I'm going to die too. If I keep going like this, there are still so many enemies left and I'm all that's left. My head hurt so much, was consuming so much mental energy twice in a row, too much for me to handle. What's more, just the thought of others not being able to hatch anymore makes it hurt even more. I have to retreat for now. <gasps> Looks like they didn't follow me here. Is this the entrance to the library? Damn it, I never thought it would be here. Right, the director of the library said those very words here. As human beings yourself, why have you not lost your minds after slaughtering hundreds of copies of yourselves just like that? It didn't matter. Each of us gave different responses that time. The captain said that it was nothing compared to what she had previously seen in our lives. The rhino said that he simply tries to tough it out. The rabbit never gave a vocal response, but that doesn't matter. Perhaps she was able to make it this far due to her desire of wanting to be recognized as a hero, just like the Red Mist, who she had always looked up to. But I, I never gave anything. No, I couldn't. Can something filled with so much resurrection and death even be regarded as human life in the first place? If I walk out the door over there, will I make it back to our corp? To that damned forsaken place? Even if I do go back, none of my reindeers or colleagues are going to be there. The hatchery doesn't have any energy left, so they won't be coming back anymore. We failed to accomplish our mission. The ravens are going to slaughter me if I return because this was our last chance. I have to turn back. I'll fight with everything I have until my last breath, just like they did, because this is my only option. Hmm. Hmm. I'm liking. I like it. What am I so afraid of? Why can't I get my feet to move when I know I have to fight with my head? Did witnessing the deaths of my comrades weigh so heavy upon me that I lost all the will to fight? Why did I even run away in the first place? Did reaching critical levels of mental strength really justify my actions? I've only been gnawing at myself more and more rather than focusing on recovering my strength. Just where should I go? Is this how one loses their way? I cannot go in, nor can I go out of the library. All that awaits me is death no matter where I go, whether I die in the library or be disposed of outside. Either way, this truly has been a miserable life. This is not human life. This is the life of a livestock that gets worked to death and will eventually be slaughtered once it has exhausted its use. Livestock. Ooh. Indeed, my obsession with all of this has been so devastating to my mind. Then maybe if I was a livestock, I wouldn't have to worry so much. I just need to faithfully follow the instructions given out to the letter. More than that, I don't have to think about anything at all. Hmm. Oh my god, what? No, I don't. Wendigo, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Now I know where I truly belong. 
where I can live out my life as a livestock. Come, let us go toward the wide meadow. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Well, 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 let's go ahead and get this started. Wendigo's page. 1200 HP, 200 stagger resist, 2 to 7 on the dice rolls. HP resistances are endured for slash and stab, normal for crush. All stagger resistances are normal. Survivor. Every time the character recovers from stagger, gain one strength and endurance at the start of the scene for the rest of the act. Up to five. RR rearing can store up to 30 charges at once. Domestication. If the character has 11 or more charges at the start of the scene, deal plus two stagger damage with attacks for the scene. If the character has 21 or more charges at the start of the scene, the amount increases to plus four. Reindeer. HP cannot drop below 50%. Can act while staggered. When HP drops to 50% or all other allies die, enter next phase. Upon entering next phase, this passive changes its effect and current deck is replaced. Okay, so we gotta look out for that. Moving over to his cards, we have Concentration. On use, gain eight charges. Mind Whip. On use, deal four stagger damage to self. On hit, spend three charges and deal eight stagger damage. Mind Sphere. On hit, spend three charges to inflict one feeble next scene. Break Down. On use, gain four charges. On hit, deal four stagger damage to target. Take stagger damage equal to 4% of max stagger resist. Concentrated Power. On use, gain three charges. If user has plus 20 charges, gain two strength next scene instead. Splitting Mind Whip. Combat start. If user has the page Mind Whip set in a speed dice, destroy all dice on this page and use that page again on a random enemy up to two times. Agglomeration. On use, spend four charges. On hit, target's dice power cannot be influenced by any effects next scene. And that is going to conclude all the Wendigo's information. Now let's move over to Livestock. Livestock's page, 112 HP, 50 stagger resist, 2 to 7 on the dice rolls. All resistances are normal for slash and crush, endured for stab. Moving over to his passive abilities, we have Livestock, change cost of all pages to zero. Then we have Survivor, RR Rearing, Domestication, and Reindeer Treatment. For every 30% max HP loss, this axe gain one strength at the start of each scene, up to two. So they pretty much have all the same passive abilities as the Wendigo. Now let's go ahead and look at their pages. Brainwave Disturbance. On use, deal five stagger damage to self, spend two charges and restore one light. On hit, deal five stagger damage to target. So that seems to be the only different page that they have. So with that guys, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. All right, let's see this change. That looks awesome you know what i'm actually i'm realizing what this is this is actually their like uh battle royale battleground this is pretty much the rr corp dude that's actually really cool seeing what they went through and seeing this that's that's fucking awesome let's go ahead and get started with this though this should be pretty damn interesting Haha! <laughs> nice. That shit hurts, man. Yeah, that that's definitely something. <laughs> there we go, dude. It's been a while. Like I haven't touched this game for a bit. I think I really did need a break from this game because honestly, believe it or not, Library of Ruina is the most played game on my channel. Or on my account. Uh I'm I meant on my Steam account, not my channel. That is obvious, but it is literally peaked at 500 hours. I have no other game that I've played that long. And I I definitely am surprised that I lasted that long playing this game and i'm adding more hours to it right now which is crazy but it feels good it feels new and refreshing right now and i think that's going to motivate me to not only get back into youtube and play other games such as darkest dungeon and other games it's just i think i needed that break 
Get him. Oh, don't hurt her. Hell yeah. So the problem is, is we don't want to stun him too often because he's just going to come back out of it. That is a lot of damage. 45? Jesus. I might be using an overpowered team on them, but honestly, I haven't played it so long that I don't really know what's going on anymore. <laughs> and it's going to take a little bit of time. And honestly, I had to... Uh, uninstall a shit ton of game or er, mods because it was just taking so long to load up. Like there are so many mods that I do not have installed anymore, and that's gonna be good because it's going to allow me to add more if I need to. A defensive and evade, reinforce weakness. Uh. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's uh, why am I being stupid? We just put it on him. We put it on Mazin. Mazin is our dodge dancing pro on this team. It's gonna hit all of them. Ooh! Oh, and another hit. That's good. That's good. We're probably going to kill off his companions before we kill him, which is good. Book of Wendigo obtained. Oh, they, oh, the defense, the dancing. You just can't out dance, Mason. You go in for the hit, but he's like, oh, you missed me. Can't touch us, baby. Smack him with the hammer. Fucking hammer time. <laughs> I love the teddy guards. I don't know why. I love that picture. I've always loved it and I will always love it. So obviously we gotta do this one, and that's that's going on him. He heals, so the more damage he takes, the more gets dished out. Mm. Oh, put it on Roland. We about to Fuck you up. This could be a very bad idea is just attacking him full on. But the thing is, is his HP is not going to go down. If anything, it's going to go up. And this is the first time I'm jumping into it. So I don't know. Oh, it's all fatal. Oh, that's good, actually. So even though he... It zero on his because he's like staggered but he can still act even though he's hit zero he can still take fatal damage so that's good to know it isn't instant recovered huh i was thinking it was going to be instantly recovered the moment that he got um to that level roland you hit a nine on a fatal come on you can do better than that. I'm sorry. Oh no, it's freezing. It's freezing. No, don't freeze. There we go. Come on. Don't do it. <laughs> there it is. I don't know whether the game was just like, oh, it's dead. And then it was like, it's freezing time, baby. Eh, you, you should get that. Adding bind would be just yeah, phenomenal. All right. So he did not go up in HP, which is good. Now let's go ahead and look at his passive abilities. It seems like all his shit is fatal. So he's fatal at this point. Now, if we go down to Wendigo, Wendigo can act while staggered. If there is at least one staggered enemy, all dice gain two power. Upon losing a clash, recover two to four stagger, resist on self and the opponent. Oh, no, no, I fucked up. I meant to hit this X and I fucking hit that. I think we're dead. A few moments later. Ah! 
Let's get this going. That should be a good healthy hit. Boom. Nice. Eight. Dude, it's all fatal damage. Dude, this might be the end for him. Oh, this is gonna be... Oh my god, this is just a shit ton of damage. Oh, yep. Oh, he staggered. That's not good. Staggered again. Oh, that's not good. Uh, moved out of uh, fatal and into the normal stats. Uh, we have three people staggered now. Maybe four. Yep, four people staggered. This is not good. Okay. Yuri's dead. Roland's dead. Alright, Mason. It's all up to you to protect them from the massive damage. That'll work. Just a few. And then also keep some dodges later. Which, uh, I don't know if that's going to work. Nope. Mason! Mason's gonna die. Mason, no! You saved the team! You saved them all. And now you're gonna die, you asshole. This will get a good hit in. Hopefully. A 13? Nice! Gamer fan doing some work. Yeah, I don't think you're long for this world after this, though. No, you're not. Ow. Ow, that hurts. Mm, we are done. No. Oh. Oh. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Freeze him. Nice. Oh, no. That's a ranged attack that we're gonna get hit by. Don't die. There we go. You're good. Oh no! Damn it! He rolled low. Damn it! If he would have. Ah, oh, damn. That's unfortunate. Oh, I forgot. Slash has a possibility to do nothing to him. Ah, oh, damn it. All right. As you can see, I am using a different team right now because the other one wasn't really up to it. And we are going to be losing two people right here. So maybe these guys aren't up to it either. So we'll see. That's a good hit. Yep. We lost one. Uh, possibly two. Damn, dude. Ooh. <laughs> nice. That's a good hit. Of course. <laughs> Just because he is able to use that one over and over again, it really kind of screws us with that. Oh. Well, he's not dead yet. Getting close, though. We'll see how this works out. Hopefully this works out good. Okay, we hit him with that, which is going to be good because that lowers a lot of the stats that he has up. Nice hit. She's dead. Zoloy died. Oh, nice. Nice. Get 
Getting him down, getting him down. Now I could do shell. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that on her because I, I gotta remember the red mist mode or EGO, uh, Gebra's, uh, lowers her stagger resistance. So I gotta make sure that that doesn't happen. Geb's gonna get hit by that, but that's only gonna do HP damage. But she's fine. Oh yeah, it's over. It's over. Yes. Okay, I've been working on this one for a while. And I know what you guys are saying. Oh, you had to use Geb to take her take him down. Yes, I did. So what? It's done. The Wendigo is dead. Now let's continue the story. He really kept on eating bits of himself just to stay alive for a while longer. That was plain disgusting no matter how anyone looks at it. Of course, compared to the others who've witnessed stuff like this countless of times, this kind of thing is just really out of the ordinary for me. Roland, I thought of something as I was looking over the reception. Would getting my hands on that one book really lead me to happiness once I finally leave this place as a human being? Because, as long as we live in the city's clutches, I will only find myself being placed under new restraints. Can this really be considered human life? My surroundings may have become much more expansive, but I fear that my life as a machine will not change. I'm a little scared. I get you. This city is a place where you have no choice but to keep on stepping over and consuming others just to get by. All that matters over there is your identity as someone human along with the fact that each and every person's life is fleeting. You don't really have much of a say in things when you have to sever your connections with someone. But that's not to say everyone in the city is beyond saving. There's plenty out there who were able to live with the pain as long as they have something precious to live for, even if they found themselves stuck in a tomb. Something precious. Well, finding one isn't exactly as easy as it sounds. Nonetheless, I thought that finding one myself would give me the strength to live there. What is precious to me? Thanks for the advice. It makes me feel a little better. All right, now let's go ahead and burn those books and get these pages to see what they can do for us. All right. There we go. We got the page. Now let's go ahead and go over that. All right, guys, it's time to go over the Wendigo's page. 101 HP, 53 stagger resist, 2 to 7 on the dice rolls. HP resistances are endured for slash and stab, normal for crush. Stagger resistances are all normal. Now, going over the passive abilities, we have Survivor. Every time this character recovers from stagger, gain 1 strength and endurance at the start of the scene for the rest of the act, up to 5. RR Rearing can store up to 30 charges at once. Domestication. If the character has 11 or more charges at the start of the scene, deal plus 2 stagger damage with attacks for the scene. If the character has 21 or more charges at the start of the scene, the amount increases to plus 4. Wendigo. Can act while staggered. At emotion level 3 or above, gain special combat pages that can be used only while staggered. Now let's go ahead and go over the pages that we obtained. Waste Disposal. If user has plus 20 charges, dice on this page deal double stagger damage. On hit, deal four stagger damage to self, deal eight stagger damage to target. Grief of Loss. Massimation. On use, spend four charges to give all offensive dice on this page. On hit, inflict one paralysis and fragile this scene. All right. So that pretty much concludes the Wendigo. Yes, there are no other pages other than this one. So with that, everyone, that is going to conclude this video. So I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you want to become part of the pack, go ahead and hit that sub button and notification bell to know when a new video goes up. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment down below because all comments are well appreciated. And with that, everyone, I'm Demonic Wolf, and I'll see you all in the next video that I make because I am... Oh!